Hi, welcome to Faith and Bible ASMR. I'm so glad you're here with me today. I was telling someone the other day that I don't think I've ever had a truly hateful comment on either of my channels, and I deeply appreciate that, you guys. You've been really, truly wonderful and helped me to have a really good experience, so thank you. If you are not a subscriber, if you're not part of this community, why don't you join us? We'd love to have you. Yeah. A thumbs up is always wonderful. It's always appreciated. So if you could do that as well, if you enjoy this video, I'd appreciate that. So we're going to head into Psalms 11 and 12. And after I read that, I'm just going to kind of give an overview of the last few chapters. I was listening to someone this morning and they kind of summed up a lot of the last few chapters and how they correlate together in just helping us understand more about God and it was so good that I I want to um, hit on that as well. So let's look at Psalm 11. So Psalm 11 was written by David and verse 1 says, I trust in the Lord for protection. And right away he tells us where his trust lies, doesn't he? So why do you say to me, fly like a bird to the mountains for safety? The wicked are stringing their bows and fitting their arrows on the bowstrings. They shoot from the shadows at those whose hearts are right. The foundations of law and order have collapsed. What can the righteous do? But the Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord still rules from heaven. He watches everyone closely, examining every person on earth. And don't you love that, you guys? I am so thankful for that. It gives me such comfort that he is watching over us, that he sees what's going on in our lives. Verse 5 says, The Lord examines both the righteous and the wicked. He hates those who love violence. He will rain down blazing coals and burning sulfur on the wicked, punishing them with scorching winds. For the righteous Lord loves justice. And we just talked about that last week, didn't we? He is a just father and he loves justice. The virtuous will see his face. Psalm 12 says, Help, O Lord, for the godly are fast disappearing. The faithful have vanished from the earth. Neighbors lie to each other, speaking with flattering lips and deceitful hearts. May the Lord cut off their flattering lips and silence their boastful tongues. They say, we will lie to our heart's content. Our lips are our own. Who can stop us? The Lord replies, I have seen violence done to the helpless, and I have heard the groans of the poor. Now I will rise up to rescue them, as they have longed for me to do. The Lord's promises are pure like silver refined in a furnace, purified seven times over. Therefore, Lord, we know you will protect the oppressed, preserving them forever from this lying generation. Even though the wicked strut about and evil is praised throughout the land, this morning I was listening to um, an overview on the first five app about the of the last five chapters, and so I just wanted to kind of hit on these. Um, I wrote them down. I thought they were extremely good in helping us just to connect them and to get an idea 
more of an idea of God's character. The lady who gave this overview, her name is Camilla Griffith and she works also for the Proverbs 31 Ministries, which is what we get these Bible studies from. Psalm 8, she said, you know, it talks about how to talk about God's glory, because sometimes we are short on words and really being able to, to put into words how great God is. Um, but, you know, the psalmist tells us that his glory is high and vast and he sits above us. What does he do with the power which leads us? But what does he do with that power? And that leads us into chapter 9. And that teaches us that God is a just king. Psalm 9 verse 4 says God sits in righteous judgment and and he is king over all from his and that stems from his love of justice. Psalm 10 shows that more in depth when it shows us that God cares about the oppressed. In verses 17 and 18 he says he cares about the poor, the afflicted, the fatherless, the oppressed. God continually expresses his love for goodness and justice and his hatred of wickedness and evil. Comforting. It's just so comforting to know that he's, he's caring about all of the people that are not getting fair treatment, isn't it? And that he will reign justice at exactly the right time. And that he can strengthen us and give hope to the hopeless. Um, Psalm 11 shows us that because his righteousness and, and because he's just, that he is a safe refuge. We can always turn to him and he will help us. He'll protect us. He's someone we can depend on. Verse 7 of chapter 11 shows us God is a safe place for us to root ourselves. He's a safe refuge. Um, so when others tell David to flee in fear, he says, No, God is my safe refuge. About how he doesn't want to just flee, that he trusts God. And then chapter 12, David holds, he holds on to God's good promises. And don't you love that example? He even when he doesn't feel it, he still holds on to those things because he knows they're true. He knows they're part of God. He knows that he can depend on that, and we can too. And we talked a lot today about God being our refuge. I was listening to Carrie Job yesterday in the song, I Am Not Alone, and I'm going to link that in the description box because it is such a good reminder to us that we are not alone. He is our refuge. He is always with us. He always loves us. He will always listen to us. He will always be there for us. And we can always turn to him with what we're going through and ask for his help and... Um, He's amazing, you guys. So I'm just going to sing us a little bit of this. Um, so. Through the valley of the shadow I will not fear I am not alone I am not alone, you will go before me, 
You will never leave me I am not alone I am not alone You will go before me You will never leave me In the midst of deep sorrow I see a light is breaking through The dark of night will not overtake me I am pressing into you Lord, you fight my every battle And I will not fear I am not alone I am not alone You will go before me You will never leave me I am not alone I am not alone You will go before me You will never leave me You amaze me You redeem me You call me as your own You amaze me You redeem me You call me as your own you amaze me, you redeem me, you call me as your own. I am not alone, I am not alone. You will go before me, you will never leave me. I am not alone. I am not alone You will go before me You will never leave me I love the lyrics to that and of course you have to listen to Carrie Job sing it but you know if you listen to this again and you want to join me and just singing along that would be great because yesterday when I was singing with her I just felt so much of strength and I I want you to feel that too and the more that we tell ourselves the truth, the more that we sing ourselves the truth, the more that we hear ourselves say the truth, the more real it becomes to us. I hope you have an incredible day. I love you guys. Bye.